Welcome back to the show, everybody. Let's play in the rain. <laughs> All right, that's a little bit better. So, first functional test of the box drains. Uh, it's, it's raining fairly steadily, so I think we've got quite a bit too because these were my uh, spare five gallon buckets I set up here yesterday and they're all just about full. Of course, the lean-to side here is also the high volume side of the building. So this probably is gonna be a short episode. I wanna just check everything out, see how water's running. So here's where we basically stopped with our drain progress. Everything that's beneath this landscape fabric is still functional drain, all right? So we have not went underground out here, but We've got water running steadily, steady outflow. So, look at that. That is a pretty good channel of water running out steadily. So, we know this backside's working like it should. Let's just walk around to the front, have a look at that. Hopefully, we won't get too soaked. Um, I finished this yesterday, all right? Um, basically camouflaged the outlet, which is right here. So when you look at that rock channel or that rock um, strip that goes around the perimeter, you can't tell that's a functional drain, but... Hear all that water hitting that stone? What I really want to know is what it looks like down here. Let me dig down to this, uh, to the drain tile down here. We'll see what we find. All right, here's drain tile. You can see water actually flowing in there. We're still washing some of the uh, muddy debris off of the rocks. To watch it go by right off my, my pinky finger there. So a little bit slower flow on this side, but then again, we don't have quite the roof line that feeds this side either. So it will be a little bit less water volume. So being that we're slower running over here, I just love hearing that, <laughs> hearing that water hit those rocks. Let's go look at the outlet from the main French drain all the way down here. So this is, uh, I expect this to really not be too spectacular looking down here. We might not even see anything for water flowing because we're taking basically that three inch drain tile and we're plumbing it into a double four inch that also has four inches of rock layer beneath it, four on each side and about two up above. So this pooling right here, that's just a slow seep that's coming out the end. There's our double four inch and it turns into such a large French drain here that it slows it way down, even though it's still carrying the same volume of water. You look carefully at some of the debris. I don't know if you're going to see it on the camera or not. You see a slow, steady flow running out down into that basin down there. So it is all working. Who knew watching water run? Could be so much fun. <laughs> All right, just throw this back real quick. Leave it as we found it. And one more visit to the outlet of the main drain. Quite a lot more is pulled up in here. You can see it actively running out right down there. And it takes a while to work its way all the way through that rock bed. We haven't even built up to the point where we're coming out the double four inch yet. Here's where we're mainly trickling out on the side right here. That's what's feeding all of this. That's what's eventually gonna keep rolling on downhill. Yeah, there's so much volume to this main large one. It's still slowly working its way through that bottom four inch rock layer. Rarely has it ever built up enough that it's ever came out those double four inch. So high volume drain. So the only other update I have on the drain project, aside from what we just saw, is uh, about a week ago, I rethought my project here. Uh, when I put this all together, 
You may remember if you watched the episode, I put this secondary flap of filter fabric over the top of the bottom lower rock bed with the drain tile and I thought better of it. I decided to go back, you see where I cut it right here? I removed that upper layer fold the entire length of the run. I was worried that that was just going to impede like a heavy downpour that it might want to hit that and then spill out the side. So everything that's intact here is just rock all the way down to the bottom where the drain tile is and then we have the same triple layer at the bottom. So I want to do a backup test. Seeing that we have really good volume coming off this roof right now, I want to see how deep the water is backing up in the rock bed. Basically, we're trying to see if it can hit the rocks and run out faster than it can come down and land on it. That's a good sign so far. I don't see any water yet. Now we're starting to get into some water. All right. So I'd say we're probably only in the lower one inch of the drain tile. It's easily starting to run into the tile right now. So we've got from there to the top of the rock base. Basically, we've got that much more water could build up before it starts to uh, exceed the capacity of the drain and over top. And once it starts running into that uh, three inch perforated drain tile, that's gonna be the, the shortcut right out the end, the fast route. So we'll throw that all back. I'm happy with it. It is looking good. So yeah, quite a lot coming off this roof. Of course, the lean to side, that's your highest volume. Just since we started walking around, our five gallon buckets are overtopping. So pretty good volume of water coming down. I'm happy with what I see. That's the main thing. So that boosts my confidence level to go ahead and run the rest of that underground and we'll daylight it about off the end of my finger. So I thank you all for watching. Success, I'm calling it good. So just wanted to share it with everybody. I know a few people had asked for a, uh, a drain and operation update. This is the first good rain we've got since I put it in. So hope to see y'all back next time.